so here I will update the status of all these parcels after receiving at office so all these all these orders uh, statuses have been updated to received at office that we can see here in the uh, customer portal so all these orders are at the received at office status as soon as rider uh, come to the office and make the parcel uh, uh, status is received at office immediately all these uh, consignees will receive the sms on this given number that their parcel have been booked through this shipping company and uh, uh, here is the tracking number and uh, here is the tracking url that you can use to track your parcel so this tracking url will be sent to them via sms so they can just enter the tracking number here and track the parcel so here is the tracking result for this order so uh, this for this first of all this date and time order is booked then pickup in progress is posted and parcel received at office so the uh, so the consignee can track the parcel from using this page the tracking url and track the parcel time to time so this is end to end tracking for all the process that we are posting from the back end so as soon as parcels are received at office next process is uh, if you have all the parcels for the uh, for the same city then you will generate the delivery run sheet and if they are for outstation then you will generate the manifest form manifest form works only for the multi branch system so uh, right now i will not show this process i will show this process later so right now we are just considering that the, this is a single branch process so for single branch process you have the writers in multiple locations and you simply assign the riders at those locations and uh, assign the parcel from here so they can directly deliver so next process is the delivery run sheet process uh, for delivery run sheet since the all the parcels are received at office so all the parcels which are received at office will be shown in the delivery run sheet page so from here we will select all the parcels we can filter this parcel right now there are only three parcels so we can filter these parcels by different cities destinations or if even the areas the zone if we define from here the areas and zone then based on the areas and zones we can filter the parcel from here and assign the riders So from here it will generate the delivery run sheet. This delivery run sheet the rider will use uh, to get the signature and deliver the parcel. So in this delivery run sheet you can see that the order assignment number, date and rider name and the and the location, so order number and the business name, the sender, the shipper name, the consignee name, consignee address, consignee phone number, city name and uh, uh, COD amount that he want to collect and the signature so this delivery run sheet he will get and uh, go to the customer deliver the parcel and get the signature if he is using the mobile app in the mobile app he will have the option to scan these uh, 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 scan the order number and uh, get the update the status of the delivery at the on the spot and get the signature of the customer uh, using the digital signature option in the mobile app so uh, right now here you can see the delivery run sheet if we go to the rider login and we go to the dashboard we can see that there are three deliveries are assigned to him so these are the three deliveries he, he, he has been assigned and the status of the deliveries is out for delivery so uh, from here he can update all the statuses 
by scanning barcode if he's using the web portal he will scan the barcode from here and update the statuses he can mark the order uh, delivered refused by consignee uh, consignee not responding the attempt parcel return to office whatever status he want he can update from here so if you click on on deliver uh, since the, the if the if the delivery uh, if the receiving person is different so he will definitely scan one one by one and update status statuses for this one let's say the delivery is uh, this you can also enter the the time the receiver time receiving time and upload the signature of the receiver here if you want and mark the status delivered so this is the the status is updated this parcel is delivered the second parcel let's say is using this one you can click on refuse by consigning so the third one if you click this one then he can uh, say like the consignee not responding he can also choose the reason if he want bad weather in incorrect address or whatever he want click on consignee not responding so based on all these status updates and uh, the, 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 the tracking is also being updated these statuses can also be updated from the admin side and uh, from the uh, order processing page this one from here so uh, that's why what are the current statuses of these orders this this uh, this order has the status delivered right now here so if we if we see from the customer side these are the three parcels with the status one is delivered one is reviewed by consignee and one is consignee not not responding so these parcels which are uh, not yet delivered the writer can re-attempt and mark the statuses again like uh, for example this one uh, two so uh, refused by consignee so maybe he the consignee do not want to uh, get the parcel so he can just mark the parcel parcel return to office so next is this one the third uh, he can just mark the parcel status uh, maybe this is delivered so uh, the delivery person the person who have received is this so he can mark it deliver so these are the parcels we have processed so in the order list customer side he can still see the all the statuses these are the statuses this is the delivered and from here we can process the order order that is delivered uh, that is returned to the shipper that is returned to the office we will need to mark it to return to the shipper when we are returning to the shipper so uh, we will uh, mark the status return to shipper because there are two statuses two closing statuses one is delivered and a second is returned to shipper if the consignee has not received the uh, parcel consignee has refused to receive the parcel he will uh, we will need to uh, return to the shipper to make the status closed of this parcel so I will update the status this so let's try to go to let's try to get the tracking information how the tracking work for all these parcels that we have processed So the for the for so for the parcel this one that we have delivered is the tracking information. Okay, and if you go to the this page, so 
so for this one this is the tracking information the first back and sign it is turned to office and then return to shipper so this is how the system is working for the for end to end tracking the consignee can get all the tracking information from here if we go to the dashboard here customer can see the orders statuses he can see that uh, two are delivered and one is returned to shipper so we got three orders and two are delivered and one is returned to shipper so the if we go to the back end in the admin side we can see same thing there are total three parcels one is returned to shipper and two are delivered and we can filter them from here in the chart we can also see this in our in order view orders we can see all the orders we can filter the orders by tracking number pickup name pickup phone number uh, and date from we can filter from date we can filter by customer, we can filter by a uh, writer name, delivery writer and pickup writer, we can filter by order status and we can filter by city. So this is the order list. In my orders, this page will be only used if you are using the multi-branch system. So order assignment page, from here view order assignment, you can see that uh, all the uh, all the assignments that have been generated pickup run sheet delivery run sheet they can be reprinted from here and the history will be maintained order processing page you will be able to update all the statuses by scanning the barcode and update the statuses from business account you can see business account spending business account approved business accounts list you can review the accounts and then update get the information update uh, up, uh, update the pricing information and zone by customer customer wise and last step is the uh, customer payments from here if I click on add customer payment and uh, that's I, I will just use this one because for this customer we have uh, tried three parcels so order was processed so these are th these are the three parcels we have processed so uh, we will process the payment to, to the customer from here so i will choose this customer click on submit so all the parcels with the closing statuses the closing statuses are delivered and returned to shipper so these are showing here i if i uncheck this the payment will be processed for only these two two checked parcels so if I check all of them the payment will be processed for all the parcels so uh, here is it will show previous balance the total COD amount is the amount of all these three parcels 2000 3000 and 2000 so this is the total COD amount whereas one is whereas one is the return to shipper 3000 is returned so it will show total return is 3000 so this will be reduced from here then it will mine it also reduce to 555 five. that is the delivery charges 200 200 and 115 so the delivery charges of the returned parcel will also be um, calculated here but the cod amount cash collection amount will be reduced from the uh, from the total so uh, it is showing that the total cod is this delivery this return return cod this and then if we calculate the GST 16% or sale tax or VAT that will be calculated here based on the delivery charges only so uh, total return charges this is showing here because in the setting we have defined the return charges 100 if we make it 0 then it will be 0 so total payable is this that is 
because uh, 7000 minus delivery charges minus return of COD amount minus uh, GST minus return charges so total payable is this so this is the total payable amount so uh, here we can see that this amount we are going to pay to the customer we have to pay to the customer so let's say we pay 3000 here and click on pay now so now it will show the uh, the the payment that we have processed in this customer payment list if we can click here and uh, generate the printout of this invoice so this is invoice for the customer cod customer and if we go here in the customer login customer side in my payments page the customer can see the same thing here the payment that have been processed payment id transaction id date automatically generated number of parcel 4 it will show here 3 here then this so total cod delivery charges returned and all that all the information is here so this is the printout we will see you can see here so this is the invoice to customer the payment has been processed so if we go to this in the next time for this customer payment processing we can see that the balance is here that will be added to the payment and this here is the payment that we may we can make to the customer so these are two payments we have uh, processed for the customer let's now talk about for the walk-in customer booking and uh, for this one here we in the business accounts we have one default account named walk-in customer so the walk-in customer account is created here uh, we can assign all the zones then we can change the pricing that we want to assign for walk-in customer so in the booking form if there is a customer who comes to front desk and as a walk-in customer and uh, we want to make the booking for him in the walk in the booking form we will choose walk-in customer and then we will choose the uh, pickup information and delivery information and here we will fill the customer information the shipping information uh, here we will fill the uh, consignee information the item information these are not mandatory, non mandatory fields uh, if there is no COD definitely the walk-in customer mostly don't have the COD amount so it will be zero we will just charge 70 plus this and we can uh, also change this amount we can change this amount and we can save and print the invoice so this is the invoice that has been generated for the walk-in customer Walk-in customer orders, all the orders uh, will be shown here definitely in the same way as uh, for the other orders. It will show in the order is booked by admin. So because this is not booked by customer himself. So you can uh, edit, modify the orders, delete the order, view the order and track the order. This order, as soon as, soon as you will create booking for this walk-in customer, the status of the order will be automatically parcel received at office you will not need to run pickup run sheet you will not need to generate pickup run sheet and then uh, scan and receive at office because parcel uh, is by walk-in customer and he have given the parcel at front desk already so uh, for this one it will be automatically received at office but for this customer uh, 